Today we're going to install the Vortrack retractable truck bed cover from Back Industries on this 2019 Ram new body style with a 5.7 bed. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and taken the canister out of the box. I went ahead and clipped the ties holding the blanket from sliding back into the canister. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carefully pick up the canister and set it up on top of the bed caps, centering it side to side. Now as we pull it forward, make sure this rubber seal sits on top of the bulkhead and push it all the way up against the bulkhead. We're gonna to wanna to make sure it's centered side to side. You're gonna have about a half inch of canister cover hanging over on each side. Here is the passenger side rail. Now I've already gone ahead and put the shims on the back side of the rail. Next, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install our optional latch position. Uh, now this is obviously optional. You don't have to use it, but if you wanna have your uh, cover be able to stop midway uh, in the rail and latch in position, you need to use a latch stop. The way this installs is you wanna make sure the latch stop is oriented properly. So the flat side of the latch stop needs to face towards the tailgate. The angled side of the latch stop needs to face towards the cab. What we're gonna do is go all the way up to the front of that rail and gonna slide that latch stop into the rail. Once we get lined up, we're just gonna slide it back to where we wanna put the latch position. All right, now I've moved this in place just past this little slot here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in place with the provided self-tapping screws. All right, now when you do this to the other rail, make sure the same latch stop is the exact same distance from the tailgate. All right, so I've already gone ahead and set the rail on top of the bed cap. We're gonna slide it forward up to the canister. Now, your rail is gonna have an inner rail as well that slides back and forth inside the rail. If it does not slide back and forth, uh, there is a nut on the bottom of each one of these bolts that are coming out of the inner rail. You're gonna loosen that up so that it can slide back and forth and adjust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it up to the canister if you look at the canister, the canister has a bracket on it. That bracket has a plastic locator up at the top and then also a tab at the bottom with a little U-shaped cutout. What's gonna happen is this inner rail needs to line up to that locator and slide into the locator. At the same time, the bottom of the rail is gonna slide over top of this metal tab and the bolt hanging out is gonna go underneath uh, that tab into that U-shaped cutout. Uh, once it's all the way to the end, then we can go ahead and tighten down this bolt to the canister. And it also might be helpful as you're sliding them together, make sure you have plenty of slack on that bolt so it can slide into place. Um, and then once you get it lined up uh, to that locator, it might be helpful to lift up on the bottom of the canister a little bit so we don't have a bind. All right, once that's lined up and pushed all the way forward, we're gonna go down underneath and tighten up that nut that's using a half inch socket. We're gonna repeat that same process on the opposite side. All right, now before we can clamp the rail to the bed cap, what we need to do is first close the tailgate and align the rail to the tailgate. Now this truck has a bed rug in it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel that away. And now I'm gonna slide the rail towards the tailgate and make sure I only have an eighth inch gap between the rail and the tailgate. Uh, that's also gonna bring the canister back along with that rail. All right, now that I've got my 1 8 inch gap on both rails, I'm gonna go ahead and raise up my clamp and clamp this in place. So make sure the clamp can spread apart. Um, inside the rail, you're gonna see that there is uh, some notches in the rail that are gonna line up to the notches on the clamp. Get that lined up. Uh, to where the clamp is properly married into the grooves on the rail. And get it hand tight first. Make sure the rail is nice and level. And then take a 9 16th wrench or ratchet. And go ahead and tighten that down. Next we're going to move to our front clamp. All right, the front clamp is going to install the exact same way. And obviously we're doing the exact same thing on the opposite side as well. So. Get it locked in, make sure it's married into the grooves properly, and then tighten it down with a 9 16 Okay, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and focus on our seals. 
Since we've got both the rails in place, we can go ahead and cut the excess off of our seals. Uh, just cut it right square with the rail. I recommend using a nice sharp uh, utility knife blade uh, to do this. And we're also going to go ahead and cut this seal up front to where it lays nice and flat along the bulkhead. We're going to do that on both sides as well. All right, next what we're going to do is pull the cover through the rails all the way to the tailgate. Now, once we get to the back, we still need to adjust it side to side. So what we're going to do is make sure that it's centered in uh, the rails. Then we need to bring the inner rails into the cover to where they just about hit the cover. We want to have a little bit of movement side to side in those inner rails, but <clears throat> make sure that the rails are centered, the cover is centered uh, in the truck, and then we can tighten down the inner rails. All right, so now we've got the latch is adjusted and catching onto the latch stop. We're going to make sure the, the inner rail is a, the exact same position on the opposite side with the same amount of space uh, to the rail. Once that's in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten down uh, this half inch bolt right here with this half inch nut, and that's going to lock down the inner rail. We're going to do that on the other side as well. All right, now we got one more inner rail bolt to go ahead and tighten down. Again, a half inch uh, wrench or ratchet on that nut. We'll tighten that down and lock it in place. We're doing this on both sides. All right, now on the ram, there's actually right behind a tie-on hoop, there's a hole in the bed of the truck that has covered up with a, a plug. I've already gone ahead and popped the plug out and cut a hole in the bed rug. This way I can fit my drain tube through that hole to route water out the bed of the truck. Then I'm going to take the front end of the drain tube that's got a rubber gasket on there make sure it hasn't fallen off. Um, you're going to find the hole in the bottom of the canister, line that up, and plug the drain tube in like so. You should hear it click into place and then it's installed. And repeat that same process on the opposite side. Now, if you have a bed rug, you're going to have a little bit of break-in time for the bed rug to compress and form memory where it closes up against the rail. If you have a plastic drop-in liner, you're going to need to trim the top edge of that plastic liner so the tailgate can close up against the cover. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.